Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is actually my very first YouTube video ever, so thanks for clicking on it and welcome. My name is Len. Um, I don't really know how to start these things off. Uh, I feel like it's really awkward when it's your first video ever and you want to give a little spiel, but essentially I just wanted to start a book YouTube account because um, I love bookstagram. I love talking books with people and I never realized there was such a big community of book lovers on the internet. And I just feel like YouTube is another way to find even more people to talk about books, find more recommendations. I've been watching booktube for a very long time now, but I decided like, I don't know, I just kind of wanted to share my books, my recommendations, my opinions, and I just it seems really fun. So today's video is going to be all the books I've bought so far in 2022. So pretty much all of January and all of February. I have 18 books here today that I'm going to show you. Some I did get some of these on sales that I'll mention. Um, some of them were gifted to me, like two or three of them. So anyways, um, if you've read any of these, let me know because I'm pretty sure I haven't even read any of them yet, of course, because one of the best things about being a reader is just buying more books to add to your TBR that may or may not get read ever. If you read any of these, let me know. Let me know what you thought of them. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe for future videos, I would love that as well. So let's just get into this haul and hopefully you find some recommendations in here as well. Okay, I'll start with the two that I was gifted. So the first is The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. And this is um, historical fiction. If you didn't know who Kristen Hanna, is, Kristen Hanna is, she is a historical fiction author. I had the Four Winds. I listened to it on audio. I really, really like that one. And I'm actually even more excited about this one because it's going to be a movie and it has Fanning sisters in it, Dakota and Elle Fanning. So I'm really excited. I uh, actually do plan on reading this one soon. It's on like top of my priority list for my TBR. And then I was gifted The Star Cross Sisters of Tuscany by Lori Nelson Spielman, if I said that correctly. I'm not entirely sure about this one. Like I, I haven't really read the synopsis much. I'm more so kind of just going to go into this book blind. I haven't read any reviews but I'm very excited for it. Okay, then um, I got this, the third Bridgerton book. This is Bridgerton, an offer from a gentleman. It's Benedict's story. And then I also got Romancing Mr. Bridgerton, which is Colin and Penelope's story. And I'm so excited about that. Um, I love Bridgerton the show. And then I found out that they have books and I was like, I have to have them. I read the first and second one, loved them. And the second one was so good. I was really worried about the show that the duke isn't going to be in book two season two but reading the book it does make sense and i honestly love kate and anthony's story so so much so i'm still very excited um i do plan on reading these i want to finish the whole series eventually but i'm not exactly sure when i'll get to it definitely before i see the season but obviously season two is coming out in march i already read book two so right now i'm at a good spot next book that i got is hook line and sinker by tessa bailey which actually does not come out until March 1st, but some stores have put it out earlier and this was my pre-ordered copy and I did receive it already. This book, I actually got a, a digital arc of it thanks to NetGalley. And so I love the book so much. I get a five out of five stars. I needed a physical copy in my hands. And Tessa Bailey was actually signing some of their copies. So she signed mine to Eleni Tessa Bailey, which was so sweet. This is my very first autographed book from an author ever. I've never had a book signed by the author and I want to reread it so I can like annotate it because I really did love it so much. Okay next I got these three books. Um, I already have the rest of them and I wanted to finish the series. It is <sighs> these bad boys. Empire, Storms, Tower of Dawn, and Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J Maas. Um, the last three installments of the Throne of Glass series. That is my Throne of Glass shelf. You can see three missing ones there. Um, I have not read these yet. I just finished Queen of Shadows and then I tabbed off Empire of Storms and Tower of Dawn because I plan on doing the tandem read and I'm going to start that as soon as I'm done with the book I'm currently reading. I'm very, very excited. I'm loving this series so, so, so much and I just, I don't even want it to be over, but I'm very excited to read this one because people say this is one of the best books SJM has ever written. So very, very excited. Next, I bought From Lukov with Love. I think I said that right. I'm so sorry if I didn't by um, Mariana Zapata. I've heard so much about this book and I read Wild Winnipeg and Me and I absolutely loved it. And then this one, the tropes in it and the plot of it was just more up my alley. So I was like, yes, please. So I bought it. I started it and I want to annotate this one. So I started annotating. So far, I'm really loving it. I love Marina Zapata's slow burns. They're not for everyone. I do understand that. But if you like a good slow burn, and I mean a good slow burn, I highly, highly recommend 
Mine is a pot of books and I'm really, really loving this one so far. I'm loving the banter. The banter is, when there's good banter between the love interest and a book, I genuinely feel like it's hard for me to rank it anything below four. Good banter for me automatically, is so good, so good. Loving this one. Okay, next, this book was um, my January pick for uh, my book of the month subscription. It's the Magnolia Palace by Fiona Davis. Have not read it yet, but I'm so, so excited. One of my book, I guess you can say resolutions or goals for a better word for 2022 was to branch out into more genres and read more historical fiction. So I read um, The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna, really liked that. I was gifted The Nightingale, so I'm excited to read that. Now I'm really, really excited for this one because it also, it's a dual timeline and it kind of has like a murder mystery intertwined with it from what I've read, from what I've heard. Very excited. Um, I didn't get a book of the month in February because the choices weren't for me, but I saw some possible spoilers for March and I'm actually really excited. I think I'll get like two or three of them. So really, really excited for this one. Next, I got The Siren by Catherine St. John. I'm so excited for this one because I'm not a huge thriller reader. I can't do intense, psychological, stressful thrillers. That's just not a good mix for my anxiety. But I read The Lion's Den by Catherine St. John and I really, really enjoyed it. It was like suspenseful, but it wasn't like terrifying. It wasn't bone chilling or anything. I love a good suspenseful mystery thriller. So I'm really excited for this one because The Lion's Den was really, really good to me. And I just, I mean, if she keeps writing books like this, I'm going to keep buying them. <laughs> Similar to The Siren, um, one of those, you know, not creepy thriller books i picked up the last thing he told me by laura dave which this one was actually part of target buy two get one free no matter i picked this one up during that sale um i'm really excited because this is gonna be like a mini series and it stars jennifer garner whom i love so so much one of my favorite actresses i've definitely heard mixed reviews about this one but since i'm not a huge thriller reader i'm thinking okay my criteria really isn't that high so i'm thinking i'll enjoy it but we will find out. I'm excited for it though. I'm excited to read it. I wanted to mention um, From Luke Up With Love, I also got in the Target sale alongside The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. I'm so excited for this one, but so, so intimidated. I love fantasy, but this just seems very intimidating, but I'm very excited. I might try to do like a buddy read with this so I can um, have some help along the way, but I'm really excited for it. I also absolutely love the cover, displaying it on my shelf. It's so beautiful. Very excited. Also at Target sale, I picked up Allure by Alexander Bracken. Again, love fantasy. I love Greek mythology retellings. Um, I honestly haven't even read the synopsis of this, but I saw a Greek mythology retelling and I was sold. So picked this one up, very excited for it. Then I also picked up these Hollow Vows by Lexi Ryan from Target, the buy two get one free sale. This is a young adult fantasy. I've heard really good things about this book and the series, the second book of this series comes out sometime this year. So I figured I could read this right before that second book comes out and then I don't have to wait because I've heard it has a cliffhanger ending. So really, really excited about this one. Next, I had an Amazon gift card. So I bought The Red Queen by Victoria Aviard. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced that. Um, this is a YA fantasy book. And honestly, I wasn't going to pick this book up because just I don't know for some reason I was like mm, I don't know if I'll like it I it doesn't sound I love fantasy like I said but the synopsis didn't sound like it was up my alley personally but I saw the author's TikToks and she's truly just a funny genuine hilarious all-around good person from the looks of it she just seems very very authentic so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna buy her book and I hopefully I enjoy it. And I'm not gonna lie, I started, I read two chapters and I was really liking it so far, but then I ended up, I like switched because I was, a second book of a series came out and I immediately had to start that one. But um, yeah, from the first two chapters, I really like it. So yes. That second book of a series that I was talking about previously is none other than House of Sky and Breath by Sarah J Maas. Um, I don't entirely know how I feel about this book. I read it, I finished it, I gave it a three, three out of five, 3.5 on Goodreads. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, I might make a whole in-depth video, but I definitely have some unpopular opinions on this book, the characters, the ending, all of it. So 
if you want to see a full discussion about this book, even if it's unpopular, let me know. Because <laughs> I'm kind of scared to speak about it because I know so many people love it, which I totally understand. But yeah. And the last two books I got is the Bridge Kingdom series or what's out, what's available of it at the moment by Danielle Jensen. I got these on with the Amazon gift card that I previously mentioned. Really excited to see what happens here because all the tropes sound right up my alley and it seems like there's so many different ways that this could go and just overall very excited for this. So those are all the books I bought so far in 2022. I'm sure by the time I actually edit and upload this video I'll have bought five to ten more of course but again if you've read any of these let me know in the comments. Let me know what you thought of them and let me know if you want me to do a full video on Crescent City House of Sky and Breath even if it's unpopular. Um, again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you want to subscribe, I would love that as well. I'll link my Goodreads and my Instagram down below if you want. I do have like in-depth reviews for a bunch of different books on there. So add me as a friend on Goodreads, follow me on Instagram if you want. Thanks again for watching. Thank you so, 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 so much. I'm so excited to finally be starting this channel. I've been wanting to do it for so long. So truly you watching does mean a lot to me and I'm just really excited to post more videos find more people to talk books about and get more recommendations and hopefully be able to give everyone else recommendations. So once again, thank you so, 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 so much. And I will see you soon.